Hello, my name is Paul and welcome back to another one of my productivity training videos. In this video today, I want to talk about how and why I use a combination of cloud storage tools. Uh, so Dropbox, Google Drive, and iCloud Drive. Three very similar tools, uh, but I use them in, in quite different ways. And so I wanna talk about this today. This has actually been something I've talked about with the members of my private Slack group. We've kind of gone back and forth on this quite a bit. And so I wanted to dis uh, discuss my own experience with these three different tools and clear up why, I, why I'm currently using three different cloud storage products. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment below and don't forget to subscribe to get new videos straight into your YouTube feed. So, how do I use these three different tools? Well, actually, let me give you a bit of background. First of all, I was primarily using Dropbox for all of my document storage for work, for personal, basically any document that I had lived in Dropbox. Until recently, I've now actually switched over to iCloud Drive. I was very against this for a long time, primarily because iCloud Drive over here doesn't support selective sync, so you can't tell it only sync these files or folders. It will offload some files or folders to the cloud, so if space is filling up on your MacBook or, or whatever machine you have, it can remove the local version and uh, just keep a copy in the cloud. So it can free up some space, but you don't have the same manual or granular control that Dropbox gives you. I also think some of the sharing options on Dropbox are better because you can just right click a folder and you've got copy the a very quick option to copy like a Dropbox link, which is really useful. So those are the main things that kept me in Dropbox for a while. However, I decided to switch to iCloud Drive. Number one, because I was just starting to have sync issues with Dropbox, with stuff getting out of sync. It wasn't showing up on the web or it wasn't showing up on my Mac. The selective sync, I think, wasn't working. I was still seeing files taking up a lot of room and um, it was just being very buggy as well. Like I actually, when I would right click, I actually couldn't see a lot of these options sometimes. So overall, I've had a lot of ups and downs with Dropbox, and I finally decided, let me give iCloud Drive a test. I'm a big fan of, I mean, I'm heavily in the uh, Apple ecosystem of products and services, and the iCloud Drive service is obviously baked into Mac OS, and so right here in my Finder, I can access my drive, I can dig into my documents, and it all just works. In classic Apple fashion, it just kind of works, and so far my experience has been really positive, it works really well. I haven't had the same sync issues that Dropbox has given me in the past. So um, I'm really happy that now I have all my documents, work, personal, everything in iCloud Drive. I also think it's better on the phone as well. So I'm on the iPhone and uh, if I go into files here, like it actually supports all my tags as well. That was another big thing is everything that I've tagged in Dropbox, those tags wouldn't actually show up on the phone when you look at Dropbox on your phone. So that was another reason because I like that extra way to organize my files. That was another reason why I've switched to iCloud Drive is that tagging, it all just works better across all your Apple devices as well. So iCloud Drive is really where all my documents live. I'd say it's my primary storage product. So what am I still using Dropbox for? Well, uh, Dropbox is for, uh, actually mainly for a lot of automation that I do. So it works really well with Zapier and iCloud Drive doesn't plug into Zapier at all. And I've, uh, I've got other videos you can check out about Zapier, um, which is how I automate things like, you know, receipts that I receive via email, they automatically get saved to Dropbox. I then actually have Hazel, which is another Mac automation tool. Hazel can watch this action folder. So this folder here in my Dropbox, that's where documents come in from Zapier. Hazel can be watching that folder and it can perform automation rules on any files that come in. So if it's a receipt, it can automatically file those away into my iCloud storage. So really this this purpose or this Dropbox, um, using it in this way, it's sort of used as like a temporary storage solution just to get it from Zapier. It will then automatically get filed into my iCloud drive. So it's kind of serving more of a functional purpose rather than a storage purpose. Certain apps as well, like um, Text Expander, 1Password, Hazel, um, Keyboard Maestro, these apps can actually sync their settings if you have multiple multiple devices and they need but they need a sync service like dropbox and so i've i'm keeping um my sync settings in here these are just very small little files that allow me to copy settings to multiple machines uh multiple devices so that's another way that i'm using dropbox 
And uh, finally, if I do need to share things, I do have a shared folder. Like if I want to share something with my VA, usually it's just temporary files. I could use iCloud Drive, but she is on a PC. So I'm just using Dropbox for temporarily short, uh, sharing files. Um, and, and really that's sort of the only way that I'm using Dropbox now. And so I am now, I'm actually downgrading to the free plan. So I'm not paying for all the extra storage again, because I have actually had to upgrade my iCloud Drive to get two terabytes of space. So I got, so Dropbox, I'm now on the free version. Like I said, it, I would summarize by saying it's really serving more, just a temporary, like a temporary functional purpose, if anything, for things like those Zapier actions and app settings as well. And then we finally have Google Drive. So I get Google Drive because I've paid for a G Suite account for my paulminers.com domain. So my email, my calendar, all gets managed through Google Drive. And it comes with uh, 30 gigs of storage space as well, which is great. The only reason I use Google Drive is really for collaborating on uh, files with maybe clients and other people that I'm working with. So if we need to share a, um, uh, they need to share, actually that's often the thing is people, clients share documents with me and so I can store a copy in my drive. So uh, I've just got quick access to it. Um, so really it's for co uh, collaborative uh, purposes is collaborating on spreadsheets and documents. That's really what I use Google Drive for. I do use it again for some Zapier functions as well. So I've got like uh, an appointment log that runs and does some stuff with some zaps that I'm using. I've got like a book summary index that automatically gets updated by Zapier as well. So again, because iCloud can't plug into Zapier, um, I do use Google Drive for some automation, uh, automation purposes. Again, it's a bit like Dropbox in that it's not really for storage, really. It's more serving like a functional purpose for things like automation or collaborating with clients. So, and again, like I'm, I'm, I kind of just get it for, not for free. I do pay for it through my G Suite. Um, but, uh, I, I mean, I need G Suite anyway for my email and my calendar. So in summary, yeah, like I said, iCloud Drive really is where my documents, it's where my work lives, but Dropbox and Google Drive, they really serve more functional purposes, um, to do kind of temporary actions and automations and things like that. So that's why I have to use three different cloud storage products. If any of that doesn't make sense or you want me to clarify anything, please leave me a comment below. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.